Al Barasin Travel Guide Places to Visit. Albaracín is one of the most important cities in Spain. Albaracín, a medieval city, is distinguished by its high peaks. This civilian is visited by thousands of tourists every year. The original houses and wooden balconies of the houses make it a very interesting city. The city is also a city of historical beauty. Built in the 9th century and completely encircling the city, Albaracín Castle is one of the blessings for those who want to take a closer look at the city. Located in the heart of nature with its mountains and rivers, the city is also an important place for those who prefer to relax in the natural environment. How to go to Albaracín Albaracín does not have its own airport. For this reason, those who want to walk around the city must first land at the airport in Valencia, Spain. This journey takes an average of four hours. Upon arrival at Valencia Airport, the distance between Albaracín and the airport is 185 kilometers. From here, you can go to the city by bus. Arriving in the city by bus takes an average of two to two and a half hours. Top tip, urban transport in Albaracín is generally very easy. Even the proximity to important points of the city allows you to walk. In addition, optional public transport may be preferred. Albaracín Attractions The city of Albaracín is known for the Santa Marina Festival. This festival lasts about one week. Citizens of Romania, Greece and Spain live in the medieval city of Albaracín. In addition, it welcomes many tourists with its natural beauty and offers its visitors different beauties with its important places. Therefore, Albaracín has been chosen as one of the most impressive and luxurious cities for an unusual holiday. Although there are many sites in the city, Albaracín's unique history and texture show once again that all its sites are worth seeing. The Albaracín Museum is housed in the former Albaracín Hospital, 18th century which was used as a county jail after the Civil War and has been used as a city museum in recent years. Ceramics, bones, coins, and tombstones are exhibited inside the museum. Albaracín Cathedral The cathedral, built in the Mudujar style from the 16th century, can be seen from all over the city. If you notice the minaret, it is rectangular. While touring the streets of Albaracín, we come across an interesting house, Casa de Julianeta. This house is an example of the traditional architecture of Albaracín. As can be seen from the appearance of this building, it is irregular in shape. La Julianeta is arguably one of the most important places in the old city. Casa Museo. Perez y Togiela's museum house attracts attention with its classic red arched exterior from the outside. You can visit with a guided tour, but you need to make a reservation by phone or email. Otherwise, you won't find anyone. They are not at home. Camino Natural de Rio Guadalaviar A nice but tiring way to explore the city on foot, enjoy the river, go to the old town. It can be completed in one and a half hours with brisk walking. However, it is not a straight road. It's a good activity for those who are self-confident. However, it is not very suitable for condition, age, weight, and especially knee problems. Albaracín Hotels There are many different alternative hotels to stay in the city. With hotel options, you can stay and relax in the style you want. In a city with different hotel options, you can provide transportation from luxury hotels to affordable hotels. The most important thing in choosing a hotel is to decide what type of service you want to buy. Top tip! If you want to have a holiday in a city that is different and stands out with its historical texture, the first thing you should do before visiting the city is to make your hotel reservation in advance. Because the city gets very crowded, especially in some months, and it is almost impossible to find a place in the hotels. <laughs>